Generating AI images and videos is a lot of fun. Monthly subscriptions? Not so much. And if your computer doesn't have the horsepower or you don't have the technical skill or interest in running a bunch of models locally, what are your other options? One of the platforms I use to reduce the number of monthly subscriptions I need is Replicate. Their pricing model is pay as you go. You only pay for what you generate, no monthly fees. Let's take a look. This is the Replicate dashboard. Once you created an account and logged in, this is what you see. I'll show you how to set up an account in a minute because there's a, another step to it, but it's not a big deal. But first, let's look at what we've got here. Menu across the top, set up steps here on the left. You'll see a lot in here about running with an API. Don't worry, you can totally use Replicate and do a lot of things with it, even if you can't spell API. The models you've looked at recently are on the right side. And then if we scroll down, we've got a snapshot of our billing. This is my usage so far this month, $4.74. And I can click on view invoices. These are monthly invoices. And you can see that some months I spend a little bit and some months I spend absolutely nothing. You can also set a spend limit so that you don't go over your set budget every month. Back to the dashboard, the next two things on the menu are models and predictions. Anything you generate in Replicate is called a prediction, whether it's an image, video, or something else. Models is where the fun happens. Once you click on models, you come to this page and then click, I just want to run models. You'll see the featured models, including Minimax's Video 1, Tencent Video. There's a text-to-speech model, Minimax's Video 01 Live that does the 2D animation style, Luma Ray, Minimax's audio model, Luma's Photon Image Generation model, Black Forest Labs Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, and Recraft V3. Now these change, the featured models change as new ones are added and become popular. If you know exactly what model you're looking for, you can come up here into the search bar and just type the name of it. Or if you're not sure, but none of these suit your fancy, you can scroll on down to the bottom where it says, I want to, and you've got all kinds of options. Generate images and generate videos are the two at the top, but there's tons of other models in Replicate that do all kinds of things. Caption image, transcribe speech, upscale and restore image, caption videos, generate speech, remove backgrounds, make 3D stuff, extract text from images, and even edit images. Let's scroll back up a little bit to image generation. We'll just click generate images. And here you've got all the models that can generate images. Scroll down through, you can see we've got the NVIDIA Sana model. We've got Flux's 1.1 Pro Ultra, that Recraft model that was all the news not too long ago. You've got the stable diffusion models, more models from Flux, and all kinds of things, some that you may have heard of and some that you may not have. Some of these might be new players and some of them might have been around for quite a while. That does not look like a tasty burger at all. All right, let's go back up to the top. Let's say I want to generate an image with NVIDIA's Sauna model. I just click on it. On the left, I have the form where I can enter the prompt, a negative prompt. This one has an option for a model variant and it explains what that is just below it. I can set the width, the height, the number of inference steps, the guidance scale, the PAG guidance scale, whatever that is, and a seed if I wanted to. You can see examples of what was generated with this model just below. And then right below that, runtime and costs. This model will cost approximately six tenths of a cent to run on Replicate, or you can get about 161 runs per dollar. Now that's an estimate because what you're actually paying for on Replicate is the amount of time in seconds that you're using their machines. So they're showing you this predicted cost based on how how long it's taking to run that model on their machines. It's generally very accurate, but the options you select or the inputs can change that. For instance, if down here in the inference steps, if you drove that number way up, well, of course, then the model is going to have to run longer. It's going to take more seconds on the machine, so it's going to end up costing a little bit more. Let's go over and take a look at Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. The layout of the page is very similar, but you might notice some different things in the input form. Each model might have different settings that you can adjust. Here we have a prompt, an image prompt, image prompt strength, aspect ratio, safety tolerance, seed if you have one. Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra also has this raw setting. If you check that box, the image is supposed to look more natural or more like a picture somebody would take rather than being overly processed. This model lets you select the output format. You can have a JPG or a PNG. Scroll down, we've got some examples. The cost for this one is about six cents per image, which means you can get about 16 images for a dollar, or you can get about a hundred images for around six dollars. If you scroll down below the model, usually there's more information under this README section. If you want to learn more about the specific model, or sometimes
terms, they describe the settings in more detail down here. To generate, we just enter a prompt. I'm not gonna adjust any of these other settings. I'm gonna leave them just how they are and click run. The image, or as Replicate calls it, prediction, shows up over here on the right. You've got a download button here if you wanna download it. Below that, it's got information about the generation, including the seed number, in case you wanna use that seed again for something. Now, I'm sure you're seeing all these other things here, like the JSON and the Node and the Python and the HTTP and the JSON on the output. It's okay if you have no clue what any of that stuff means. That stuff is just converting the things you have on screen into those languages to be used with the API if you want to. If we want to try a different model from the same Black Forest Labs, this is Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. If we click Black Forest Labs, then we'll see all the models by Black Forest Labs. And there's quite a few at this point. If you want to go back and browse all the models, just come up to the top and click Explore. That brings you back to the page where you have the featured models at the top and scrolling down brings you to all the different types of models. We'll click to see them all again. Now we took a peek at the sauna we generated with the Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. By comparison, the pricing for Flux Schnell is about three tenths of a cent per image. That works out to about 333 images for a dollar. So the pricing varies widely based on the model. Some are incredibly cheap and some are a little more pricey. I know six cents an image doesn't sound very expensive, but you know, it can add up. I mean, three tenths of a cent for an image that could add up too, but a whole lot slower. Let's go back to the Explore page and take a look at the video models. I'll just scroll back down and click on Generate Videos. There's some recommendations from Replicate on the left, but you've got a lot of different models to pick from. There's the Minimax, the LTX Video, you've got Hyper Video 2, Luma's Ray, Moki 1, and then there are a whole bunch of other models that I don't know that I've heard of most of these, but you've got options, I guess is the point. So if we wanted to create a video using Minimax's Video 01, we'll just click on it. We give it a prompt, our first frame image, and then it does have subject reference in here. So if you provide it with a subject reference image, an image of a face, then it'll automatically use the S2V-01 model, the subject reference model. The cost to run this one, it says is about 50 cents per video. If we scroll down a little bit, 50 cents a video, about two videos for a dollar, 100 videos would cost around $50. Now you might be noticing something different about Replicate than a lot of other image generation or video generation platforms, and that is there aren't a whole lot of creature comforts. And that's because most image generation platforms, for example, will build a nice user-friendly front end that connects then to these models in the back end. So you'll have handy tools and interfaces that help you navigate around all these different models and feel like you're in the same place, even though things are happening all over the place. A platform like Replicate is more about giving you access to each each of these individual models. On the upside, you get variety and a great combination of all different kinds of models. And there's no monthly fee or subscription just to be able to access it. On the other hand, the platforms that do charge a monthly fee, part of what you're paying for is having it organized and connected all in a way that makes it a little bit easier to use. But Replicate recently added this playground up here in the top menu, click on playground. And this looks a little bit more like image generation platforms for non-techies. Everything I've generated in the playground is here on the right. Over on the left, I have a model dropdown. I can pick whatever model I want to generate from, and they have added video in here in addition to images. And you can click manage models. So if there's an image or video generation model that you want to use that isn't in the dropdown, you can type its name and add it. And it says that most of them are currently supported. Let's drop this down and generate an image here. We'll do a recraft this time. All right, we'll do another cat walking on the grass. That sounds good. There's my size and the style. All right, that comes up a little funky, but if I hover over it, I can see it. I'm going to click realistic image and say run model. And there's my cat image. If I click on him, there he is. And it gives me all the details about the generation on the right. Now on the playground page, I don't see the pricing, but if I click on the model detail button, it'll take me back to that model detail page where we do have the pricing. It's about four cents per image. Now you might've noticed that when we went to the image playground, I had some images in there, but it wasn't the image that I had just created of the dog laying on the porch. That's because the image playground is sort of a separate area. So to find images or videos that I didn't create inside the playground, we need to go to our predictions. To get there from any page, we can go back to the dashboard and then right here on the top menu, click on predictions. You can filter this by date. It comes up automatically, I think for the last week. It shows you the ID of what you generated, the model you used, and of course how long ago it was, but you can just click on the ID. And let's see, recraft, that was the cat 
we just created in the playground. So this next one back, this should be the dog. And there it is. So everything you generate shows up in that predictions list, including things you created in the playground. But inside the playground, you will only see the things that you created in the playground, if that makes sense. Now to create an account on Replicate, you don't actually create a Replicate account. Instead, you need a GitHub account and you'll use your GitHub account to sign in to Replicate. So for that, we'll go to github.com, enter your email address, click the green button that says sign up for GitHub. Next, you'll give it a password and pick a username, click continue, then do this little puzzle. It'll send a code to the email you used, enter that code, go ahead and sign in with either the username you created or the email address you used and the password, click the green sign in, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else here. In fact, you can sign out if you want to. I just recommend signing in to make sure your account works. Now sign out or close GitHub, you're done with that. Come over to replicate.com, click sign in, Click this sign in with GitHub button, click on authorize replicate. It'll ask you for your email address, type that in, hit save. You can fill out these preferences or you can just click skip this. If you're not part of an organization and don't want to create one, you can just click view your dashboard. It'll ask you how you heard about Replicate. You can type in YouTube or just hit the X and close that out. Now you're on your dashboard and you should have a green checkbox next to create an account because you already did that. The next thing under the setup there will say setup billing. And it says you can try featured models on Replicate for free, but I'm not sure if something's changed and maybe this hasn't been updated or what, but as of today, when I go through this process, it does require a billing setup before it'll let you run any of the models. To do that, just click the add payment method button, click setup billing, and it pops open this structure Stripe form where you can enter your credit card information. Once you're done with the Stripe form, then back on the billing page, you can set that monthly limit if you like. I'm not sponsored by Replicate. I'm not an affiliate of Replicate. It's just a tool I use that I find really, really handy to be able to go and explore and create with a bunch of different models. And I thought it might help you to know about it, especially since it's pay as you go and not a monthly subscription. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.